Alright, yo, what's going on, guys? Today, I just wanted to talk about something that's uh, been on my mind a little bit lately. This get, this video is going to be kind of like a Custom Games 2.0 kind of thing. But anyways, I wanted to talk about something that's been kind of misunderstood on my channel, in a way. Um, and that's actually the reason that I made the two videos that got my channel over 100 subscribers easily. Maybe even more, still growing. Um, and that is the How to Get on Cast Theater videos. It's a thing that I want to address. Um, it's actually, the, th the reason that I made those videos is actually to make a point that I think is being looked over a lot more than it should. Um, and that point is that, like, channels like Cast Theater are putting up so much dumb shit that a lot of the, like, little YouTubers that are putting in more work than most of the big, like, custom games, tr like, YouTubers, whatever, have been during their entire time doing this thing like for me for example like right now i'm a hundred times more inactive than a lot of the little custom games youtubers or little youtubers in general and yet because i put up those two little stupid videos that have made, were supposed to make a point about how cassiator putting up a bunch of stupid shit and i wanted to commentate like not commentate but prove that i can get up there with that stupid shit that it's so uneven it's so unbalanced this whole youtube thing now and like i'm not saying bah humbug youtube is dying no, i'm not i'm not trying to be like that because like i don't want to be like that because one of the reasons that i think that the cod community is kind of decreasing right now is because everybody is giving up on it <laughs> like i was having a conversation with quarantine one time in the pugs chat about how like one of the reasons that the COD community and the custom games community and stuff like that is becoming a little bit more stale is because everybody's giving up on it. Nobody has the drive that they used to have on it. And I think that's a real shame because I think right now it's better than it ever has been. The community is being less more about, you know, strict stuff like if you, can, if you can't knack then you're a terrible person kind of thing. But I mean, it's kind of going to more towards like the creativity side and like more towards the like it, like not expression but like being able to be around some of your friends coming up with creative shots helping each other out and stuff like that and it's honestly great it's just a lot of people are giving up on it which is really sad to see um but anyways that's just kind of an off topic kind of went off right there but um the goat the whole goat thing and the whole how to get on cast theater thing was to prove a point about how like it was, I can make such a stupid joke video that I can get up on Cast Theater. And I think even Cast Theater missed that because the, that whole video was making fun of them. It was like completely criticizing the way that they do their videos. Like, trick shotter high on weed hit trick shots. High, uh, kid show his mom how to trick shot. You know, stuff like that. That's so stupid. The way that Cast Theater used to be was, you know, the old Hytosis montages, the cut, the equipment trick shotting montages. Like, all of those amazing OG montages, they're all gone now. They're all being replaced by these stupid little things. And it's not that these OG montages aren't there anymore, they're just not getting the spotlight that they deserve anymore. That whole thing has been on my mind quite a lot lately. So, the main reason that I wanted to bring up this whole topic about how things are being spotlighted in a different way than they used to, in a worse way than they used to, um, is to make a change about that. Because this isn't like one of those things where like people are losing interest, you can't really change that spotlighting little youtubers that deserve it and spotlighting people that okay here here's another thing is little youtubers that do get spotlighted and then quit immediately after that pisses me off i'm not gonna lie because they get such a good opportunity okay you know what? No, i'm gonna go into that but um this whole spotlight system it can actually be fixed just as long as you know we actually try to look out in do good things for other people and not just give up on this community um one thing that i've been trying to work on is in like whenever something starts in like the brain dead chat or something or probably not so much in the pugs chat because i don't know i'm still intimidated by all those freaks anyways um but like i'm just when i'm in there if something starts up I mean, I'm usually the weirdo hippie that goes in there and tries to settle everything down, but not in a way that's like, everybody settle down. I write the whole thing out, I look at the pros and cons, and I try to actually fix the situation. I don't just sit there and quarrel 
like most other people do and I mean like I'm not saying that I'm like the best guy in the world or anything but I'm just saying that more people need to do that and I've been seeing more people do that which is a really good thing um I've some of the worst things that have happened in the private match community lately is you know the people who get kicked from a team and they and then get completely just their whole reputation gets turned around because they got kicked from a team. For example, Loudy, when he got kicked from the Pugs, I mean, his entire reputation as a person, as a trick daughter, was completely turned around from this cool BO2 player with a whole new kind of th style and everything. He put up one bad episode and everybody bullied him. I mean, it was like, obviously cyberbullying, like, whatever, get over yourself, but I mean, like, it was so bad. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you actually joking? Um, some of the things that were being said behind his back was insane. The same thing happened with Aquas. I mean, you just gotta stand up for those guys, and if somebody gets kicked, you can't just completely turn around their reputation, or else you're just giving up on them just like people are giving up on the COG community. Just, it's, it's not fair. It's not fair to everybody. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to vent a little bit, so sorry if that may not have even made any sense, but it's kind of like the other custom gains video. Um, also, let me get my opinion on the whole C situation real quick. Um, first off, Nexon, what the hell are you doing? Uh, <laughs> obviously, you're probably not going to watch this video, Brain Dead Who, right? But if you guys don't know the whole C situation, C, Nexon made people choose in between C and the Pugs. And a really great thing about the private match community is that you're allowed to be in multiple teams at once, which a lot of people don't actually understand that it's actually a good thing, but it really it really is to be honest because like you get to be in multiple communities you get to make more content with other people collaborate and it's it's, it's a really good thing um but next i'm just kind of make them switch in between which i can understand because a lot of clips were being reused in team tages and stuff like that and that is kind of a problem that's going around like for me personally i don't i only put usually one clip in a team Taj folder because i don't like reusing clips if you're reusing clips and it's just like the same montage over and over and over again, it's gonna get stale just like the online community did. Um, so yeah, I don't know, that's my thoughts on this whole C thing. Like, I understand where he's coming from, but I feel like he kind of went overboard. I don't know, I feel like it should have been more about reusing clips than being in a team. But, uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, do whatever, but I'll see you later.